What up, it's John Shaboy, IBS Kelso, and today we're gonna be trying out 838 motor part created by PDMX and Track Day R. I'm rocking the Ducati Desmo MX450. I did not know this game had all these freaking free fun mods in this game, okay? I did not know. I thought it was a completely stock game and you kind of just had to deal with what you had to deal. But man, does this community have a lot of fun stuff, whether it's road bikes, MX bikes, whatever you want to call it, dude, Supermoto, it's absolutely amazing. So we're definitely going to get into more mod videos as we go on. But today I had to try out Powder. It's freaking amazing A3A motor park. So let's get right into it. Hit that like button, subscribe button. As you can see, I am rocking the Jet Lawrence jersey. Today is Washougal, Washington Nationals Park. Super excited to race it. Going to be watching that here. So as you guys are watching this video today, that's what I'll be doing. Um, huge thank you guys and all the support lately for everything on the channel. And um, yeah, let's just do first impressions at this track. I've realized this game really harps on you trying to keep the bike straight up, going out of a turn and trying to go for a jump. And also connecting in turns, like you don't need to go balls to the wall at times, trying to go through something, you're really just going to mess yourself up more than you are going to help yourself. Oh, what a big side jump. Oh my. Yo, dude. Okay, that was a W jump. I, I honestly wrecked so bad, but that was actually really cool. I'm going to have to remember that for next time. That jump kind of goes off to the right side. And my, I'd never seen my bike do an animation like that to where I got boom, bang. But that was a nasty freaking tumble. But yeah, as I was saying, just standing the bike up right before you go off a face of a jump is huge. Instead of trying to go at it at, at an angle, the physics for it is just not there. Um, you get like a weird physics to where it's going to keep you make, making you go that exact same uh, direction instead of trying to counter react the bike going straight back up. So um, hopefully that's fixed up or if that's just the way they're looking for the game. I enjoy it. That was a small table. Glad I kind of saw that early when I was making the turn. I don't know what this table is to send it. Oh, wow. Too much of a sin. Okay. I have, re oh man, another spill out, dude. I have realized, man, like over jumping in this game and not staying on the rev, like rev bombing it out, you're definitely falling, dude. Pretty hard, too. And I enjoy that about this game. And so far, this track is feeling amazing. Um, the dirt feels great. I don't know whether you can make a track really bumpy in this game or you can't. I haven't really seen too many mods. Like I said, I didn't even know this mod, like this track, this game had these many mods in the game. And I didn't even know you could do that. Like I said, I thought it was just like a bone stock game. And you were testing it out but the fact that it has a lot of cool bikes in here i downloaded the ducati i downloaded the yz450 um a couple other road bikes man i'm super excited to get into it but so far i'm enjoying the environment of this game it's kind of like a new mexico kind of vibe like you're in maybe even australia like out with the kangaroos you know what i mean like i enjoy i don't even know where this track is if anybody knows can you hit the comment section and tell me where it's at if this is actually like a track in real life the 838 motor park but i might i might just be fibbing I, I don't know maybe it's a fantasy track i'm not 100 sure but this track looks absolutely beautiful i think the only thing that would be cool like i saw that here's a car in the back i'm gonna have to try to show it like towards the finish line um here's a car actually moving in the back i didn't even know that you can do that that's actually possible in this game but he actually has like live animation stuff going on in the background so i think the only thing that would be cool is if like you were able to like make like a giraffe in the background or something like that i don't know like i said i th it gives me like an australian uh, australia vibe I i'm gonna scratch the new mexico vibe and give like a more australia like in the sahara sa safari or something kind of vibe but yeah here's like a road over to the side i can't i don't know how oh I, it looks like I just raised my middle finger right there, but I don't know how to like turn my head over Best thing you can do is just look backwards and that's about it And I think that and also trying to find a way to push the bike. That's also I don't even think that's a game mechanic Trying to push the bike if you're like literally hitting a wall You just can't you have to restart the game So I hope that comes out with an updating like an update to this game Um, I did hear they're coming out with an update for better whip mechanics and stuff like that the devs i think right now are currently on vacation so hopefully that gets fixed up but it's really cool to start riding this game and playing this game at the stage it is now like early alpha build or whatever you want to call it because you really get to see the game progress and how much farther it goes especially for all aspects of the game whether that's supermoto um straight road road bikes dirt bikes you know so that's really cool um yeah man Let's just dig into it. You can feel the bumps. I can feel like my controller vibrating in certain spots So you can feel that there is like certain bump spots in this in this uh, track I just wish it was more demanding on the on the bike where you could feel it or see it more on the game Like you can feel it through the controller, but you can't really feel it Like when you're actually riding like you don't see the bike move do too much movement 
like when you're actually going through these bumps so i think that's something that would be really nice if they can play with that to where you can really see like the bumps a little bit more uh, instead of just like actually going through like a jump bump if that makes any sense Ooh, almost made that like right here you really can't see the bumps other than like you're going through rollers and stuff so i think it would be cool if you saw like more of a visual effect or even if you made it to where it's like the bike's making a more jittery spot so also for all my enthusiasts out there for dirt bikes as i mess that freaking whole freaking that that jump's probably the hardest jump just because it's and just the way the physics are and to where if you don't go straight off the jump if you don't go straight off the jump you can't really you know turn the bike how you want it so like you're just gonna go the same way but for all my dirt bike enthusiasts i'm super excited to start try to see hunter lawrence really go back for the podium position and fight for it i i love uh chase sexton but i just think he wasn't winning it if jet lawrence would have stayed around but hunter lawrence i think he has a lot of dog in him to fight i'm super happy to see levi kitchen trying to make it back into today uh racing uh especially it's his hometown track oh my god i forgot no. uh! yikes talking and riding it's just a challenge man but um i'm super excited to see levi kitchen try to do something i know freaking deegan had a time of his life last year at freaking wall Shugle, so super excited to see him try to make a really good uh fight today as well and man tom b out has been getting the short in the stick and dude my dude show joe shimoda like joe shimo don't you know like man i felt like second moto was his to, to take and if, it's unfortunate to literally see that whole wipeout, man so um we're gonna be fighting for it spring creek was awesome so yeah really excited to see what wash Hugo has to do and i think they're gonna be doing something with 125s i think last year they did like a 125 giveaway or like 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 a really big challenge so i'm excited to see what's gonna go on out there with 125s um man and i like the way powdered makes made this track to where you get really muddy like you really get muddy as crap like i can't even see my number plates anymore it's not my first time seeing something like that okay there we go there we go lean off more side to the side and we'll go straight right there nice turn third gear nice turn out boom big table inside third gear nice big jump let's go down the first gear also this game really likes when you go down the first gear i don't know what it is whether it's supermoto street bikes anything dirt bikes the game loves when you are in first gear so i don't know what that is i don't know like what physics that is but like just the bikes react so much better when you are in first gear i promise you so that's something to learn i'm also probably going to come out with a settings video here soon i really just still playing with it to where it's like i sometimes i can turn sometimes i can't and i've just been kind of picking powdered's brain to what he likes and enjoys since he's been having a lot of time on this game where it's like okay bet like that's what you like enjoy maybe i could like kind of mimic it and or like feel what i like um especially coming from a lot of hours from mx bikes and dang i need to slow the bike down i thought first gear was gonna give me my power back or like at least engine braking but i actually need to slow down for that try to actually slow down for this spot too nice fourth gear try to run the berm high and then stay off to the side yes sir big jump let's take this outside let's go third gear bad angle though bad angle though Can we fully jump that oh we can't go to the outside i know this inside is not going to set you up right we're getting over this big table i couldn't even get the power for that one don't need all that out there because you can make it in third gear oh but that's too far too far too far dang it oh dude every time i think i need more power than what i actually like like i give it more power than what i think i need and it messes me up every time dude that's the fun thing about these 450s though because they actually replicate a lot of power of how much they have in real life and i enjoy that like the torque to the back wheel is absolutely gnarly but i'm super excited to see the whip like what they're talking about like whip update i know powder also said something in their discord in track ar's discord that um he's trying to make a whip contest as like the new update comes out because i guess they're supposed to be even better so that should be fun more up on that bike see i don't know man i it, i just feel like i can't turn the bike at times during like in the air wise so i hope that hope that in the game physics updates as well it feels great though I, I think you've made it a great track and so far i'm running a 115 as my personal best so my personal best is a 115 like i said maybe a one 
one one minute or so like that 115 so as long as it's a good track like that it's all that matters you don't want a 45 second track we're not doing super cross you know try to focus up maybe hit some really good lines here go for like a real good heater connect nice off to the side yep I knew that was gonna happen wonky physics slow down oh what a Dude, I saved that. There's no way, dude. I, I'm pretty sure I saved that nolly. And, I, dude, if I would have actually been able to turn out of the corner off of that and rip, oh, dude, that would have been nasty. That would have been gnarly. Nice. Sometimes I do hate the rev limiter, and it's almost like it's not giving the back wheel any more torque or any more spin. It's very weird. I don't know if it's a bug or what. Um, sometimes, like, I'm right here, and I'm, like, trying to give it its, its beans, and it's not even picking up any speed on the back wheel. Maybe it's just because it actually tire spin, and you're not, and you're, I, I haven't even caught any traction yet. Um, I don't know. I could be wrong. Not, there we go. Panic rev. I was going to brake tap, but I realized that I wasn't, I didn't need to brake tap. I probably would have ended. But let's go for an actual lap. Here we go. See, I couldn't make the turn. Oh, I say actual lap, but I couldn't make couldn't make the turn off the berm. Maybe should have went down the first gear. Slow her down. Make that turn. Make this turn. Oh, I didn't slow her down either. As soon as my front goes like that, all hell breaks loose, dude. Falling off the freaking track. Man, look how dirty I am, dude. I have like a whole new jersey on. Like that's the camo jersey. That's the camo jersey. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. It's not bad. Maybe. Oh, oh, slow it down. Dang, I just couldn't get up. I don't know. Couldn't I couldn't make the turn. I don't know. The turning is so so uh, Come on! Give me something! I'm trying to get better at my turning. There we go. It's it's definitely skill issue. I'm just trying to trying to get better at the at the game mechanics of the of the turning. That's really all it is. It's it's more me, not the game of these of these turning mechanics. Just trying to get used to what I can do and what I can't do. What an OJ! I can't believe I landed that. Mm -mm -mm. We gotta go for one more, right? We have to go for one more. Make the turn. Thank you. Oh, I saved it. Let's go. Dude, my bike. Dude, my... Never mind. Chat's gonna be the end of... That's, that's the end of the video. That's the end of the video. I thought I was gonna be able to hit it, dude. I don't know what physic that was, but... Thanks for watching. This is 838 Motor Park. Be sure to give it a download. Link will be down in the description below. And thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Pa-pa. Pa-pa-pa-pa-pa-pa-pa-pa-pa-pa-pa-pa-pa-pa-pa-pa-pa-pa-pa-pa-pa-pa-p